Yeah, well, uh, July 21st, 2014. Um, it's been a while since I've done any updates on videos. I've been actually pretty busy, but uh, anyway, um, wow, what a world. I guess um, if I, I, you know, since I got 15 minutes, if I went down the line of just about everything as fast as I could say it, I probably still wouldn't get them all in. But the main thing right now is um, just in the last, I'd say, 60, 90 days, since the Pope came out and did his little ritual with his uh, the blood ritual that he did here a few weeks ago, um, things that went to hell in a handbasket. I mean, it was already getting bad, but it went from bad to worse. Um, let's just cover some of the earth changes. Uh, earthquakes right now, really uh, picking up. Um, they pick up basically every year. This year, um, they have just been consistent as far as uh, large ones, you know, uh, upper sixes, uh, low sevens, a lot of sixes, and um, in strange places too. Uh, we're talking, you know, um, Washington State, on the East Coast, some of the states, uh, a lot in Oklahoma. The Oklahoma's had hundreds of quakes. Also, uh, the sun uh, was uh, basically just exploding. Uh, CMEs and X flares and uh, some X flares, a lot of M-class flares, upper C-class flares the last few weeks. And then the last week, it just completely died. It looked like somebody just shut off the water spigot. And uh, it went almost completely dead. Um, today, 21st, they've spotted some giant object. They don't know what it is. Uh, I'm not saying it's a UFO for any of you people out there <clears throat> grading me on this. Um, they're just saying it's something that's by the sun. It's at the very top of it. Looks like it's pulling the energy from the sun or putting energy into the sun. I don't know. I can't tell, but it's huge. It's probably the size of uh, two or three size, probably the size of Jupiter, um, maybe two or three of them. It's, it's just huge. Uh, the other thing, um, Yellowstone Park, they've closed some of the roads off uh, in Yellowstone. Some of the roads are melting. Uh, some of the gravel roads are turning to oatmeal, they're saying, or it's like oatmeal. Um, the asphalt blacktops are just uh, turning into soup. So they've got some of the main roads up to Yellowstone shut off. And what's happening is, is this planet is heating up tremendously, and all the volcanoes, or even the old dormant ones, are coming alive. Um, Mount Rainier's uh, in Washington State, Part of the magma is starting to move in that as well. Uh, they've been also checking Mount St. Helens, uh, which blew in the 80s. Um, it's it's coming back alive again. And all the magma is moving. Um, part of the uh, problem we're having is, is that uh, the earth crust is moving. That's with all the quakes and now the magma. And so you're going to see a lot more of this pick up as time goes by. Uh, once God took his, uh, you know, is removing his hands from this planet, um, all the things that he's kept at bay to keep this planet from destroying itself is going to do it. Uh, the end time books talk about this time he's going to destroy this place with fire. And I can see how it's going to be done. Between wars and the planet um, burning itself out, I can see it very well easily being done by fire. So anyway... Um, we have a couple of a uh, few new diseases that's popped up on the plateau here. Uh, this Ebola virus has now gone into four different countries. It's killing about 90% of the people it gets a hold of. So, uh, the border issue is one of the big problems uh, because some of the people they believe um, that's been uh, infected with the Ebola virus has crossed through our borders. We have everything passing through our borders, not just evil people, but I'm talking evil people and diseases and uh, the financial uh, burden it's going to put on this country. It's going to probably create a civil war if we don't get our hands on it pretty quick like. 
But I think that's what our leaders want. I think they want a civil war. I think they want a new world order. I think this is a whole, uh, this, this thing's been designed since 2008 to collapse, and he's doing a great job. Seems like nobody in America is willing to step up to the plate and stop him. He's on a roll, and I don't see anybody doing it. Um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to take something traumatic uh, at such a scale to wake the American dead person up. Most people are dead. Most people are not uh, alive. I, what I mean by that is, is the walking dead. Um, there's just nothing in them. You know, if you, you can't look out your window right now and see that there's major changes going on, you have to be completely so um, dead asleep that an avalanche wouldn't wake you up. But uh, don't let me get started on that. I'll, I'll be on that for the next 10 minutes. Um, the, the bottom line, too, is that uh, um, with this, this border issue that we have going on, then we have Israel that's being attacked on at least four fronts. The whole world, you can see right now, is turning their back on Israel, blaming Israel. And I'm saying Israel does everything correctly, but I will stand with Israel before I would... Um, you know, Palestine or the uh, uh, Syrian army or the Iraqis or the Iranians. Um, you know, they're all Muslim. Uh, they hate Christians. So, um, and I'm not saying every Jew uh, that's in Israel is a Christian. There's a lot of bad Jews that are over there right now. But um, God promised his people that land and and I'm going to stick with him till the end on it. Um, so, anyway, but the whole world's turning their back on Israel. Our our president came out today, um, lambasting him, and uh, he's following right along with uh, the rest of the world. So we know where this is going. They're going to be surrounded in the near future, and uh, and um, I have a feeling that this is where it's going to lead to Armageddon. Um, Russia is being pressed by the United States. And they came out a couple of days ago, and they feel that the United States is going to attack them. And if they don't stop them in the next six months, they said that they might not be able to. That doesn't sound good. Folks, that doesn't sound good at all. When you hear talk like that, when we're hearing it, what's going on behind the scenes, we don't know. I say the, to any Christian out there listening, uh, like never before, stay as close as you can with our Lord Jesus Christ and um, stay on his road. Don't veer off. Don't listen to man. Don't even listen to me. Check me out. Test, test the waters. Uh, anybody that knows me knows where I stand on things, but uh, I, I'm just saying that right now that people need to be as close as they can with our Lord Jesus Christ. And they need to daily ask for forgiveness of their sins. I do it, especially me. Um, I think the older I get, the less I have patience for the humankind. And I know as Christians, we're supposed to have a loving nature to us. And I do. It's just that I expect a lot out of a person. And if they don't, uh, if they don't produce like they should... I'm really quick at sometimes writing people off, but um, I'm not uh, I'm not a person that has a lot of friends, and I don't require a lot of friends. But I do require that I'm in good standings with my Lord Jesus Christ, and that uh, we have a war coming, and it's coming soon. It's going to be on our shores. I live in the Midwest, and I. I tell my family sometimes, they go, you know, we're like on an island right now. We're surrounded by destruction. And people in the Midwest, or even on the East and West Coast, don't feel like there's any issue going on out there. I think that life is going to continue on like it always has. And God talks about that in His Word, how people will just be that way in the last days. But uh, it's not. And Russia, China, Iran... Afghanistan, Syria, uh, all the other rogue nations hate us with a passion. When we're the big guy on the block wanting to do global tyranny 
on, our, on the other nations. This war that's coming will be like no other. It won't be like World War II. It's going to be nuclear, thermonuclear, and um, we're going to see bloodshed that's in the millions. The only thing that's going to stop it is our Lord Jesus Christ. At a point, he'll, he'll step in or even divert man through earthquakes, pestilence, diseases, maybe even asteroids, type, you know, tsunamis. He can change the whole uh, map of this. Man thinks he has control of this planet. He's only a tenant here. He only has tenant rights to a certain point. But my Lord Jesus Christ is the landlord. And he controls and he makes the rules. He only allows what he wants to allow. And um, anyway, um, what's, what's happening right now between our borders, between the, the wars, between Israel. We've all read about Israel being surrounded in the last days in God's word. Well, they're being surrounded right now. Not on the, uh, they're being attacked on four, you know, four fronts, but they are going to be completely surrounded in the near future because right now you can hear the war cry of the nations of the world on the outcry of, uh, as of today, Israel hit a hospital. And I'm seeing reports where they hit a hospital and killed uh, quite a few medics and some civilians. So they're going to take full advantage of that. They're going to scream till the cows come home and, and until enough nations come together like the UN's wanting to do. And uh, I think they're going to surround them and go to war with them. So <clears throat> this war is going to get worse. And then we got Russia to deal with. And, um, and then all the pestilence, the diseases, and all the anti, the hatred of our Lord Jesus Christ in this country. Removing God, um, removing Bibles, removing the true word of our living uh, God from people. Um, students having Bibles removed. Um, the huge increase of homosexuality, bestiality, um, lesbianism is sickening and now um, you know incest is a thing I've seen today where people are thinking incest is a great thing it's just not going to stop like the days of Sodom and Gomorrah like the days of Lot um, like the days of Noah it's going to increase by the day once the Pope had his little satanic ritual and ushered in the demons to come into the people of the world, which I truly believe is what happened. The gates of hell opened. And if you're a weak person and not living under the protection of our Lord Jesus Christ, subject to devils and demons, these things are going to go into weak people that they can control. And that's what's going on right now. They're going into the kings of the earth, too to make war with each other. Just like uh, we've all read in Revelations in the book of Enoch and, and even in the book of Jasser where it talks about um, how to battle against these entities uh, that came on them at one time. Um, we, need to, we need to get ready as Christians. And I'm tired of hearing Christians fleeing from their areas, especially when there's a million here and a million there. You Christians out there, if you get cornered, you don't run. We're not second-class citizens. We're warriors. Take a stand and fight. You know, read the book of Jasser and read what 11 people or 10 people did against thousands upon thousands of their enemies. And then you won't fear. A million? We could do anything. Anyway, you guys have a great day. And uh, God be with us all.